Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Disgusting. Obama tries to sabotage Trump's relationship with Israel on the way out the door. By Jim Hoft. In December, in a final despicable act against Christians and Jews, Barack Obama effectively signed over Christendom's and Judaism's holiest sites to radical Muslim groups. Barack Obama refused to veto a Security Council resolution condemning settlement construction in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. The resolution effectively turns over the old city to Palestinian groups. The Palestinians are led by Hamas terrorists in We Gaza and Fatah Islamists in the West Bank. Obama thought this was a good move. And Obama was behind the disgusting anti-Israeli resolution. Jewish leaders were very upset with the move. Now on the way out the door Obama intelligence officials are leaking shoddy information to Israel to smear President-elect Donald Trump. Despite all of Obama's disgusting acts against Israel he wants to sabotage Trump's relationship with the Jewish state before he takes office. Israel's Yenet News reported. Donald Trump's upcoming inauguration as the next president of the United States is causing Israeli intelligence officials to lose sleep as well. Discussions held in closed forums recently raised fears of a leakage of Israeli intelligence top classified information, clandestine modus operandi and sources, which have been exposed to the American intelligence community over the past 15 years, to Russia, and from there to Iran. The cause of concern are the suspicions of unreported ties between the president-elect or his associates and the Kremlin, whose agents are also associated with intelligence officials in Tehran. These fears, which began upon Trump's election, grew stronger following a meeting held recently between Israeli and American intelligence officials. The date of the meeting is not mentioned to protect the sources of the report. During the meeting, according to the Israelis who participated in it, their American colleagues voiced despair over Trump's election, as he often lashes out at the American intelligence community. The American officials also told the Israelis that the National Security Agency, NSA, had highly credible information that Russia's intelligence agencies, the FSB and GRU, were responsible for hacking the Democratic Party, DNC, servers during the elections and leaking sensitive information to WikiLeaks which hurt Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. The American officials further added that they believed Russia President Vladimir Putin had leverages of pressure over Trump, but did not elaborate. They were apparently referring to what was published Wednesday about embarrassing information collected by the Russian intelligence in a bid to blackmail the president-elect. The Americans implied that their Israeli colleagues should be careful as of January 20, Trump's inauguration date when transferring intelligence information to the White House and to the National Security Council NSC, which is subject to the president. According to the Israelis who were present in the meeting, the Americans recommended that until it is made clear that Trump is not inappropriately connected to Russia and is not being extorted, Israel should avoid revealing sensitive sources to administration officials for fear the information would reach the Iranians. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.